Hey girlfriends, I'm Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee today and I'm coming to you live from in my shower. I've never actually spoken to you while in the shower, but here we go. So today I wanted to show you how you should properly be washing your hair and conditioning and the difference between clarifying shampoos, moisturizing shampoos, regular conditioners, and deep conditioners. When should you use what? Today's video is sponsored by Not Your Mother, so thank you for sponsoring this video. I love so many of their products because they have a whole naturals line that is sulfate, paraben, and silicone free. So I'm gonna show you some of my favorite Not Your Mother's products in today's video. So first let's talk about a clarifying shampoo versus a moisturizing shampoo. A clarifying shampoo will actually say clarifying on the bottle, or it might say scalp care, cleansing. Those are the types of words that you know are gonna get a really good deep clean on your scalp. And that is the main place where shampoo should be applied. You don't wanna apply shampoo to the length of your hair. You wanna start at your scalp and then you can work it down if it's necessary. So for example, the new Not Your Mother's Curl Talk Scalp Care Cleansing Oil is supposed to gently cleanse and remove buildup while restoring natural oils. This does have peppermint in it, so a lot of scalp products will have peppermint that gives it that nice cooling sensation. And what I love about this one is that it has a little nozzle, a little like rubber tip, so I could just apply this directly to my scalp. Now the difference between these two is that this one actually says massage into scalp using direct applicator, where a regular moisturizing shampoo will just say lather and work into wet hair. So if my hair really needed to be cleaned, I would probably use a moisturizing shampoo to put on the lengths of my hair, where a scalp care or a very clarifying shampoo, I would only focus on my scalp. So now let's talk about how to apply them. You don't want to do the whole like dramatic rub-a-dub-dub -dub on the top of your head that we often see in commercials. All you're doing is creating more tangles as you mix it around on the top of your head. I will admit, sometimes I get a little too lather crazy and I just start massaging like those commercials, but I'm really not doing anything to help detangle my hair. Well, it's actually better just to get your fingers onto your scalp and then massage more of the scalp and not really get your hair involved. It is also crucial to take this time to massage your scalp. That's how you get the blood flowing, which will increase circulation, which could help with hair growth. So you might not remember to massage your scalp maybe before you go to bed or in the middle of the day, but at least do it when you shower while you're massaging in whatever cleansing product you've put in. When applying a moisturizing shampoo, that's when it's okay to then go to the lengths of your hair. I would still start at the roots on your scalp and then just smooth down whatever remaining product is. You don't need to apply more shampoo to the actual mids or ends of your hair. So feel free to just smooth it in going down so you can start detangling. And of course, these shampoos are sulfate free. Once you rinse out the shampoo, let's talk conditioners. Should you use a deep conditioner or a hair mask or a regular conditioner? It depends on where you are in the week. I always recommend to deep condition once a week. So if you haven't deep conditioned yet, this could be your deep conditioning day. Then if for some reason you have to shower again, you don't have to deep condition twice a week, I would just then use a conditioner on that second wash. So when it comes to choosing a regular conditioner, I always like to find a conditioner that is silicone free and one that smells good and has amazing slip. So here I have the Not Your Mother's Tahitian Gardenian Flower and Mango Butter Curl Defining Conditioner. All of the Not Your Mother's natural conditioners have the same like thick consistency, which makes it really easy to detangle. This one is supposed to restore, bounce, to enhance, and define curls. It has a really pretty floral scent and it does a really good job at detangling all of my knots. Now let's talk about how to properly apply the conditioner. You don't want to just get a whole bunch and apply it to your scalp. No, that is what we use shampoo for, but conditioner you apply to the mids or ends of your hair, where your hair is usually most dry. Now before I knew what to do, I would just kind of scrunch all the conditioner in there, smooth it down, and then start detangling. But the better way to detangle is by taking a small section and smoothing the conditioner into your hair. So you literally grab your thumb on one end and use your thumb to press that product into your hair, smoothing down the hair shaft and it's also going to help eliminate frizz. So you just keep doing this over and over again and eventually, look at that, all the tangles are gone. So once I learned to actually smooth the product into my hair and rub it until all the tangles are gone, I realized that there are some conditioners that I thought I didn't like, but it really was 
me. I was the problem. I was applying it incorrectly. But once I learned this little technique, detangling has been so much easier. I've noticed that when I finger detangle, my curls look a little bit more elongated because I'm kind of stretching them down versus if I use a brush, I will actually be able to detangle faster, but I also get more definition, which then makes more shrinkage. So as long as you're cool with that definition shrinking up, go ahead and use a brush. If you do decide to use a brush, don't just get a brush and go straight to the top of your head and then yank everything down. That's how you rip out all your hair. You actually wanna start at your ends, slowly detangle your ends, and then work your way up to the top of your head until eventually all the tangles are gone. Brush versus finger detangling is totally your preference. So as many of you know, my favorite deep conditioner period is by Not Your Mother's, which is their matcha green tea and wild apple blossom. It's a nutrient rich butter mask, deep conditioning with antioxidants to help restore damaged hair. So although it is also a conditioner, it is packed with even more nutrients than a regular conditioner because you allow this to sit in your hair for 20 minutes with a shower cap. Now, if you want, you could use your conditioner, rinse it out and then apply a deep conditioner once you get out of the shower, or you could skip your regular conditioner and just use a deep conditioner as your regular conditioner slash hair mask and then rinse it out. Totally up to you and how much moisture your hair needs. If you decide to use a hair mask, then I would put a very good thick amount so you could actually see the product on your hair. Wrap it up on the top of your head, put on a shower cap, and then you could either continue with the rest of your shower, body wash, face wash, shaving, and then by that time it might be time to rinse it out. Another tip I have for you is to make sure you condition the very back of your head. This part is often neglected because we can't see it, but everyone else can. You also might realize that this is a part of your hair that's always sitting under the water. So while you are washing your face, washing your body, shaving, try not to just stand under the water because then all that hot water is just really attacking the back of your hair. So as much as I am guilty of loving hot showers, I really try to cool down the temperature so that hot water is not blasting on my hair, in turn, kind of creating heat damage. So if you're someone that's noticed that the back of your head is always frizzy, it could be because of the hot water you're letting just smack it in the face throughout your whole shower. Another tip I have for you when it comes to detangling is to think about how you're actually going to wear your hair. If you're going to wear your hair in a middle part, then it's okay to brush in two sections and keep that middle part. But if you have bangs or you wear a side part or you just don't want a middle part at all, don't create one in the shower because it's gonna become really hard to get rid of that middle part. My hair was like trained to fall this way. So you kind of have to train it to not do that and start to create different parts depending on how you wear your hair. So once I'm done detangling both sides, I then like to flip my hair over and rake my fingers through to get rid of that part. That's also gonna help create more volume at your roots. That way your roots just don't look flat and boring. So that is how I would recommend you having a successful wash day. Let me know what are your favorite Not Your Mother's products. I'm also gonna be doing a giveaway for some Not Your Mother's products on Instagram at Ms. Bianca Renee. So make sure you guys follow me so you could enter. I post new videos every week, so hit that little subscribe button and the bell so you're notified as soon as I post a new video. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, Bianca Renee, today.